know about you, Corey and Byron, but I'm so happy to once again walk with Elias. Well, personally, I miss hearing Zeke speak. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Elias! Listen, I can't deny his in-ring ability, but when it comes to his music, I got no time for Elias. Thank goodness they didn't put a stool in the ring. No concert tonight, but Elias is still going to put on a show. You are looking at the future of the bloodline. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. Had a meteoric rise in NXT, multiple main event matches, and the NXT North American title. And has already made an impact on the main roster, becoming a part of the bloodline. When it comes to the street champion, Solo always puts that title on the line. Solo Sokoa set for competition here. Clearly focused as ever. Focused and with a target acquired, Cole. Sokoa's never not in a bad mood. We can already see he came ready for a beatdown. Strangely, I think beating down his competition is the only thing that eventually puts him in a good mood. And even that's debatable. Just look into his eyes right now. Yeah, but anybody that is riding off Elias could find himself sorely mistaken. Don't let his melodies fool you. Elias is one sinister songsmith who believes himself to be the truth teller. And he's coming in tonight motivated by all the disrespect he's been feeling from the WWE Universe. Everything about Elias is painful, from his music to his attacks in the ring, but don't disrespect the man's capabilities. Elias is fully capable of making sure that his tune will be the last one you'll hear. Solo Sokoa has proven himself to be a ruthless powerhouse, Corey. How do you measure up to this kind of physical opponent? Well, Cole, you have to refuse to give Solo the outright brawl he wants. Get crafty with your attacks and stay elusive. Solo wants to trap you in the middle of the ring to go blow for blow with him. So you have to give him a runaround. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. To the outside. This could get wild. He avoids the damage. Oh, close on. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Solo Sokoa casting an intimidating look out at the fans. Yeah. Oh, God. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Some good hits. They're slamming their face down. Oh, Sakoa holding him at bay. Caught with the punch. Oh, man. Shot after shot. Close fist connects. Capitalizing on Sakoa's mistake.
turns it around. Soul of foot meets the stump. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Look at this going count. Uh-oh. And he's just in reach of the ropes and gets it to first to break. The ropes become a competitor's best friend in desperate moments. Uh-oh. And gets to the ropes. That's going to force the break. Evades the attack. Oh, look at this. Fireman's carry. And he can pin his opponent right here. Whoa, he kicked out. The end was in sight. Vicious right forearm. I think it's about time to roll the dice, Cole. still in the fight, but for how much longer? He's returning fire. <laughs> Big boot. He is just reeling from that offense. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Reversal on top of reversal. You have to think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. Fatigue starts setting in, and you don't know exactly how all your wits about you. It could quickly lead to error. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Oh, my goodness. And did you hear the impact of that? One of the WWE's most physically gifted superstars, Rick Boogs' power is infinitely impressive. 
Not only is Boo shredded, he knows how to shred. That makes him a sex tuple threat. What are the other parts, Byron? No, no, you know what? I just don't need to know. The only thing we need to remember is how much strength Boogs is packing into his arsenal. And he's facing Grayson Waller, who, as much as I hate to admit it, might be as talented as he is arrogant. And he is very arrogant. It's called the Grayson Waller effect, Saxton. When he gets rolling and the cameras are on him, he just becomes a different breed of cat. High-flying, power offense, he can and does do it all. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Crushing the knee there. Arm trapped. Just unloading knees to the body. Here we go! Oh, God! I don't care how bold you are, missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. A medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. Ooh, merciless looking blow. This is just brute power. German! Just pure dominance. And nobody's disputing Grayson Waller's talent or his boldness, but what do you think the weak spots in his game are? In a word, in experience. Grayson is a phenomenal athlete. He's already done great things, but you can't substitute that time in the trenches. If you put him in an unfamiliar situation, odds are he'll falter. He foiled that attempt. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Look at this. Snap suplex. Looking for an early pin. And skirts out of the pin. We'll need to get a little more to put this one away. And Boogs reverses it. <laughs> Series of reversals. Punch right in the head. Look at this, Byron. Here comes a suplex. Style! Carefully measured knee drop. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Lift off. Loving leg drop. Mamma mia! Devastating flourish from Waller there. I don't think anything can stop Grayson now. <laughs> and the so called Grayson Waller effect didn't exactly shine through there. Boots unleashing a powerful symphony of destruction. He can end it here. Kick out just in time. Close call. That was almost lights out. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. Oh, he knew what was coming.
Anderson Waller setting up his opponent, headed to the outside. Stop it. Okay, cannot finish Boogs. Is it enough? The cover! Oh, he is almost finished. Within inches of victory, only to have it snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. He thinks he has it. And a strong kick out in one. That's smart. Taking the one to catch your breath. Vicious right forearm. Look at this outrageous power by Rick Boogs. Military press with reps. Boogs, Rick Boogs goes down low. And we're about to see the Boogs cruise. Boogs might just have the cover. Where in the world is he getting this from? His beating heart will not be stopped. I've lost count how many times this match should have ended by now. Catches a punch. And Boogs showing that he's still not done going on the offensive. Racing could be in peril. Oh, caught that foot by surprise. A forearm right to the jaw. Someone's about to take a nap. What? They just made a haymaker take a nap. This one might be headed ringside. Whoa. Side headlock applied. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Two. Critical time in this matchup. This is a time to dig deep. Waller anticipated that one. Sit straight into the barricade. The rep may call a count out soon, guys. You do not want to test this rep. That'll stop the count, and this match will continue. I'm glad that wasn't the end. Will it be? I think so. Is this no, no, it isn't. He kicked out, he kicked out. This is amazing. to stay alive there. Able to interrupt the attack. Another reversal. After an eye hit. Reversal after <laughs> It's that time in the match where we all take a trip on the Boogs Cruise. Grayson went down in a heap. There's two! Oh, How have we not claimed a winner yet? You gotta believe that not wanting to feel the agony of defeat is causing this never surrender attitude. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over. But you gotta do a little more to finally finish this. There's not a single person sitting in this arena. It's pandemonium, Cole. Oh, could you are armbar applied? What energy in this arena tonight? I'm getting goosebumps. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Connecting with a sharp elbow. Headed to the top now. Blast off. Oh, what an elbow drop. For the win. Two count. Oh, he's still alive. Thought he had it. You gotta be 
kidding me? Grayson is in big jeopardy here. Rick Boogs goes down low, and we're about to see the Boogs Cruz. We can't take any more of that. This must be over. No, he beats the count. Incredible resiliency. What's the tally on how many times we thought from the middle rope? What a splash! The roar of this crowd has been building, and they are in a fever pitch right now. You can feel the anticipation growing with every second that ticks past in this match. Launched with a suplex. A fire has been lit inside Rick Boogs. That inexperience seemingly coming to bear for Grayson Waller as he is currently faltering. Shifts it back onto him. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Oh, and a stop. Attack from behind. Down a neck breaker. To the jaw. Someone's about to take a nap. What? Boom! Good night. And that's going to jam Grayson's offense. Snapmare by Waller. Where the hell is he going? Oh! Here comes Waller. Stop! Okay. Will Waller make it pay off? It's almost down. Yes, he will survive and pull through. Here is your winner, Grayson. This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the cost against the benefits. Talk about resilience. Talk about endurance. Really, talk about stubbornness. It certainly paid off here tonight, but who knows if that'll be the case next time around. And here comes Ilya Dragunov, a superstar out of NXT UK who has earned the co-sign of the showstopper himself, Shawn Michaels. Five feet, 10 inches, and 198 pounds of pure, unbridled fury. Dragunov is not the biggest dog in the fight, but the level of intensity and the physicality that he brings to the table is unlike anything we've ever seen. Pure intensity and resolve makes Dragunov someone to watch very closely tonight. And he's facing off against Tyler Bate, who has put his own unique twist on British Strong Style. He's a little young and still a little inexperienced, but he may well be pound for pound one of the strongest superstars in WWE today. Well, they don't call him the big strong boy for nothing, Saxton. And as for his experience, this man was the inaugural United Kingdom champion, a founding father of NXT UK, and he did it all before the age of 21. I shudder to think what you were doing. From the middle rope, what a splash! He goes to the quick pin attempt. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. Not the worst idea going for a pin there, but it's close. And Bate perhaps tripped up by his inexperience there. Dragunov really bringing the fury there. Dragunov has said to himself, and I quote, I am violence, and he considers himself to be invincible. How do you account for a man like that? Well, if anything, he's too intense. Dragunov puts too much emotion out there, and sometimes that rage gets the better of him. When he goes fully off the handle, that's your opening to exploit his... Bay looking to lock it in. Billy goes curse. Oh, this one's over. Agonizing bull got to find a way out, and they do. Bate cuts him off. Tyler Bate finds his target with that one. Climbing up to the top now. Oh, misses the one. This could do it. Just after two. And frustration.
frustration might be starting to set in. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. Here he goes for the win. And referee cuts off the counting one. There is no quit in this man tonight. And that was a precisely measured attack. Oh, man. Kick to the face. Included. And Dragunov realizing he'll have to come back twice as strong for the next one. And we know the mad Russian will. Off the top, Buckles. What's he gonna do? Sky high. Dropping the knee. Cover. Two. Kicks out. So, so close. That could have been it. Looking to lock it in. If the Billy Goats curse him. Oh, I can't stand this move. Hi, Colt. Oh, body is not meant to bend. Way to break the curse. We're undoubtedly near the end. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. He's able to fend off the attack. Oh, my. Bate with a kick to the gut, double under. Tyler Driver, 97. Dragunov can and will take in any given match is unbelievable. And we are seeing that right Whoa! now. The dive! Just exhibiting their fearlessness. <laughs> exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Spread. Oh no! Double leg drop. Dragonov clearly unafraid of firing his opponent up. He wants to fight, and he wants it now. He climbs back into the ring just in time. That Ooh. was getting close. A well-timed dodge. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Suplex brings them down. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear it on your opponent. I'm not quite sure this man shouldn't tap out. This is about career longevity. Self-preservation. Abdominal stretch. Fighting out of That's it. That's the way to get out of it. Nice. Score by pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> the mad Russian lining it up. <laughs> Moscow. Exclamation delivered by Dragunov. Shoulders down. important wins I've seen in recent memory. I agree, Corey. A huge victory tonight. This is the product of hard work and in-ring adaptability. He's got all the tools. And he
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunter! Tensions riding high. Plans on getting things settled in the ring. I can't wait. A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. Since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. Looks like the action will be happening inside the WWE Universe. They call Gunther the ring general, a moniker he earned for the impressive combat tactics he employs in his matches. Tactics which can be as devastating as they are genius. You could easily mistake Gunther for a big Austrian brute, but he's a very cerebral competitor. Before he even climbs through the ropes, he's already devised multiple avenues of attack. That has helped Gunther stay one step ahead of the competition. He's playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. Look at this! Somersault plunge out of the floor. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. Adding a level of insult with that kind of physicality. It has to be tough being as rigid as Gunther is. You have to wonder if Gunther is going to bend or break here tonight. Cole, you wouldn't understand the higher standard that Gunther holds himself to. There's a reason why he has been so internationally successful and he hasn't broken yet. When you hold yourself to his level, you're just better, plain and simple. Face first in the turnbuckle. Oh, man, nasty kick. Setting up for something here. You can't prepare your face for that. Really just laying it in. Kick after kick after kick. How humiliating. Gunther 
These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Whoa, not quite yet. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. From the top. Whoa, what a landing. And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Battle of the metal right now. Oh, just turn that around. Toss back into the ring. Enough yet. Oh, the knee drop connects. The fire has been lit inside of Gunther. Gunther made it well known there that he is better. Plain and simple. Cole, maybe you should try holding yourself to a standard like the ring general. Gunther from behind. Look at the cinching in. This one may be over. Rear naked choke now locked in. An extreme. In this submission, here's a cover. <laughs> Stops the ref count before two. Still in it. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Sidewalk slam. Gunther, let's just have it. Two count. He kicks it out somehow. Wow, looks like this book has a couple more chapters in it. We might be seeing a whole saga written tonight. It is just unbelievable. And Gunther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. shifting with every turn in the match. Right to the kidneys from behind. And Gunther in rough shape down the stretch. Gunther has to be careful. He's looking vulnerable here. Oh, short arm chopped. Oh. Right to hang on. <laughs> oh my God, what impact. Ooh, saw it coming. And hit him with a shot to the face. Perfect knee. 
Pulls the trigger. Oh, that knee strike. Picking up speed, building momentum. Trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. Can this ref even count the three? This gets knee strike. Crafty way to get out of hand there. What a lariat. Gunther just can't seem to stop this offense. Gunther has to create an opportunity to retaliate. Uh-oh. Oh, straight to the floor. You have daring and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah. Stupid. Oh, driven face first into the apron. And he gets set back into the ring. And the ring general, Gupther, with a salute of sorts to the WWE Universe. By the throw into the top row. Handle smash. Comes down across the head with the axe handle. What are they doing here? And some effective offense with that one. Just a relentless assault. Gunther wants to finish this. Delivering a power bomb. Gunther can taste victory now. And Gunther takes it. Here is your winner, Gunther! Perseverance getting the gritty victory tonight. These superstars took each other to the absolute limit. Well past the limit, I'd say. Remember, folks, these four superstars have no rules tonight, no disqualifications, and no count-out. Secure a pinfall or submission, and you're the winner. Hostility between all four of these superstars is palpable, Michael. All four want to destroy one another. That's kind of the point here, Byron. Destroy someone and gain a pinfall or submission. Well, obviously, Corey, but these four particular juggernauts want to flat each other in a big way. Some strong emotion swirling in the air inside this arena. with that one. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Oh, it's soon. We could be seeing a submission here. Watching on to that arm in the set. The cross arm bar was locked in. Good, but a great counter there. Paint a picture for me, Corey. Effectively, what are some tactics you'd use to win an ODQ match? Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe the buddy waiting to give me a much needed hand. Maybe throw Saxton like a fastball special. That's the beauty of a no disqualification match. You can do all that and not get dinged. The sky is the limit. And a well executed move we just saw there. Big four. Oh, a stiff punch. Oh, my goodness. There's the knee right to the face. Oh, man. Getting in position. What's he planning to do here? Ricochet's been grounded at the elbow. Ricochet with Vertigo. Big throw. Firm control. Put it in the corner now. Oh, what a punt to the face. Oh, my. Power slam. What 
one step ahead of Knight there. Double knee backbreaker. of a second win now. This could do it! Gets a shoulder up and one. Gotta change something up with the pin technique. The cockiness of L.A. Knight not even considering taking this seriously. Oh, no. Now that he has the kendo stick, I definitely do not want to be in his path of destruction. of staying down. Oh, man. Ricochet is so evasive. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. He's able to sidestep there. Oh, my God, into a powerbomb. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Uh-oh! Suplex 
face lands. Quick counter there. Yeah, these guys really put on a barn burner.